Um, so first off, we're going to start with the pickups that I've gotten. I've gotten about a total of like almost, um, I believe like 10 pickups uh, within the past month that I want to show you guys. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the right, right to the first pickup that I've got. Okay, so we're going to first start off with the pickups that I've gotten uh, over the past month. And then we're going to go ahead and start off with the first piece that I have actually picked up. Which is um, a Atherin RTR um, Gunderson 60 foot uh, TTX box car. Um, this is a, like I said, an Atherin RTR. Uh, this is a really, really nice car. Don't have any of these uh, TTX Gunderson 60 foot box cars. Um, so I seen one decide to pick it up. Um, you see right here, here is a picture of it on the box. And uh, here's it up in close person. Um, I think I paid like 34 bucks for this at uh, Hobbyland, um, Hobby Shop up the street for, uh, uh, on the other side of town for me. A really nice car. Um, you know, these TTXs are probably one of the most popular Atherin Haikyuu box cars out there. Um, I know everybody really likes these and enjoys these cars. Um, so definitely decided to pick one up. Definitely going to find and pick up another one because I really like these. I really like this paint scheme. It's very popular paint scheme that I really like. Um, and so definitely going to, uh, be getting more of these, uh, hopefully getting another one here shortly, very time soon. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's one of the pickups I've gotten moving on to the next thing that I've picked up. Okay. So these are the, uh, next cars that I picked up. Um, these are Walther's gold line, uh, 60 foot, um, flat cars. Um, I see I bought, uh, I got two with the fifth wheels on them. And I've got one just uh, that just for all purpose. Um, I actually bought these off of a friend of mine um, that we do trains with. Uh, he was selling off. I think he had like six of these he sold off. I bought three of them. Um, ended up giving him, um, I believe, 30 bucks for all these. Um, already He already owed me some money for something that I, I bought. He bought off of me. So he just get, he just put that money into it. And I only ended up giving him 30 for these. Um, so these are really nice. Um, <clears throat> actually bought the... <clears throat> excuse me i'm um, actually bought these for a industry that which um i'll show you guys a little bit later in the actual update part of this video which will be next after all my pickups but i um, actually bought those for those um and uh, as you see here i got uh one southern pacific um one southern um and as well as one atnsf or santa fe um, as you guys can see right here and these are really nice cars got all the separately applied detail all the pipeline all the piping work underneath, brake line detail, all that good stuff. And then like he actually upgraded the couplers, to, as you guys can see right here. Um, if I can focus it out a little bit here. Um, yeah, you guys get the point. There we go. But yeah, I actually upgraded the couplers. Really nice couplers. I forgot what they call these number couplers. If you guys can tell me, please let me know. But uh, yeah, as you guys can see through here, all the pipelining detail everything is just really nice really nice underneath um but uh yeah uh, like i said picked up those three uh, which and i actually picked these up like two weeks ago off of him believe it or not um so yeah those are really nice really do like these cars um and as you see here's the sp up close uh I'll give you guys just a quick little view of this same thing here i got all the simply applied grab irons um all the pipelining detail all that good stuff. He actually upgraded the couplers on this one as well as this one is too, as you guys can see. Um, there's a lot more clearer for you guys to actually make out everything on here and stuff. So, yeah, really nice. Um, and like I said, um, uh, I I use the this one for all purpose. So I'll put a little bit of any, anything on there that I want to haul for the day. Maybe I'll throw a container on there. Uh, throw, I don't know, maybe uh, like a pipe load or something, a load of some sort on this kind of car. So yeah, definitely uh, a good a good car for that purpose. I, I bought that one on purpose because he didn't have no fifth wheel detail on it. So I bought that one just because for all purpose. And I use these two for trailers, obviously, because I got the fifth wheels on them. So yeah, uh, moving on to the next set of things that I got, um, which is uh, some more freight cars. Okay, uh, <clears throat> here are the second set of cars that I pick up. Um, these I also bought off of the same friend that I bought the uh, just the uh, flat cars that I just showed previously. Um, these are Walther Walther's Gold Line. These are 50-foot bulkhead flat cars. And um, I've really been wanting some of these for a long time, these bulkhead flats. I wanted to get some of the uh, BLMA ones, actually. Um, but um, I knew the opportunity came across for him selling these. He sold four of these. He had two in S and a... He had three NS and a Southern, and uh, another guy, another friend of ours, bought the two NSs, so I decided I'll pick up the NS and the Southern. Um, 
So, yeah, uh, these are really nice cars. Um, these are actually uh, been upgraded as well. Um, he actually uh, upgraded the couplers on these as well. And he also put on new stirrups on these. So, as you see, these are brass. Uh, <clears throat> more durable than what Walther's put on there. Exactly. Um, so, see, as you can see right here, uh, definitely more durable. Just needs to be painted, which I'll probably do that one of these days. Or I think I'll just leave it as is. Nothing's really bothering it. But, um... Yeah, this is a Southern, and this also is going to be going into the industry um, the, that I was telling you guys about earlier, which, I was, like I said, I'll show you guys a little bit later. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, <clears throat> build some loads for these, um, and I think I'm going to go build some of my own custom loads. I got the Jagger loads I still got to build up and put uh, and build up and use, but I'll do that uh, later on. Um, I'll probably actually probably get into doing that today with those Jagger loads. Um, so, yeah, but, uh, yeah, like I said, here's the Southern one right here. Um and as well as the NS. And these are really nice. Um, so I definitely uh, definitely do like these a lot. Um, and also, he did also put stirrups on this one, I believe. Yeah, here goes one of the stirrups right there. Uh, I believe this is another one on this side, yes. And then, yeah, so put two stirrups around back here. And also upgraded the couplers to on, this, on these ones as well. So yeah, definitely nice cars. Definitely do like those a lot. Um, paid uh, 30 bucks for these as well. He was selling them for 15 a piece. And if you guys look on eBay, these are actually going for about 30, I believe like 25, 30 bucks a piece. So he definitely did give me a deal. And plus he gave me a deal because he's known me for a long time. He's one of the first guys we met when we got in the train. So quick overview of these. Uh, I do like these a lot. Like I said, one NS and one Southern. I should have got the two NSs, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, really, really nice cars. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next batch of things that I picked up as well, uh, which are going to be uh, related to what I got going on as well. Okay, so here's um, another set of things that I picked up. Actually, also <laughs> bought these from um, the same guy I bought the flat cars from, another the same buddy, same friend. Um, sold me these to go along with the flat cars. Um, bought three of these. Uh, these are actual... UPS uh, pup trailers that UPS actually pulls and he actually works for UPS and he actually said when he first started on with UPS he actually did pull these before uh, and these actually were designed to go on rail um, but he said now what they do is they actually will phase these out so now all these do is these just stay on the chassis they don't they don't go on intermodal anymore um, they just kind of use these for like uh, kind of storage and leasing um, around their facilities but um, uh, he sold me three of these and he also sold me <coughs> these um, extended extendable uh chassis which uh they extend from 40 to 45 to 48 and i got this one set up for 40 and i believe this one is set up for 45 um yeah that's what i meant to say 40 45 or 48 um and they actually do extend out um if you guys can see um would have to let me see if i can try to do it on camera real quick for you guys um okay that one doesn't extend out uh, I think this one should, uh, this one should move. Yeah, there we go. So, see, so you can extend it, adjust it to however you want to adjust it. So, I just got to set for 40. Um, and I can extend it out to 45 if I would like. Um, I think I paid, like, I think I want to say these were, like, an extra 15, I believe, or for all this. He actually cut me a good deal on these, too. Um, so I ended up paying 15 for all of these. And these also, as well as uh, going on to the industry, um, so I really have to give you guys a detail on that. You guys really like that industry a lot. Um, so yeah, I have to show you, I will show you, be good showing you guys that a little bit later, but, uh, yeah, pick these up. I uh, do like these and I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to paint these. I will paint the chassis though, I think, but I'm not going to paint these just because I'm going to use these for stores. They're going to be used for like, you know, leasing or whatever towards the facility. I'm not going to paint these. I'll just leave them as is because, um, you know, like I said, they're just leasing boxes. I'm not going to, you know, mess around or fool around and paint them or anything like that. Just leave them as is. And I think I will paint the chassis maybe like a, I, I may leave those black too, but I haven't decided yet. So, um, but yeah, pick these up as two really nice. Um, and I definitely uh, do have use for these. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the last set, last couple things that I've picked up, and then we're going to move on to the actual layout update part of the uh, of the video. Okay, so here are the last things, uh, sets of things that I've picked up, um, rolling stock wise. Um, bought this right here, and this is a Viking. Um, 
uh, Glaps Gravel Stable. This is a um, 187 scale forklift that I bought. I only paid $10 for this off of eBay, and this is a really, really nice forklift. Uh, really, really nice. Um, very, it was very, it was actually very, it was a really good deal. I really like this thing, and I actually bought this for one of my industries. Um, as you can see here, it's got a lot, it's actually, it actually rolls back and forth. Uh, forks actually do go back up and forth. As you can see, actually do go up and down. Um, and the boom actually leans back and forth. Um, so you yeah, only paid 10 bucks and I picked that up off of eBay, uh, for only, yeah, 10 bucks free shipping and it got here fairly quickly. And as you can see, it, it even has the, this is actually something really cool that I like about it. Um, if I, if it'll focus, I'll show you guys. Uh, I won't focus. Uh, okay. But if you can see, there's a little pin right there on the wheel. And uh, those are actually called suicide knobs. Um. Or wheel grips, which you could turn with one hand, which actual forklifts do have on them. I see a lot of truckers run these on their trucks too. So I think that's really neat. If you see that little pin right there, um, right there, it's in the circle. If you can see it a little bit, um, they actually do run those. And I thought that was really cool. It's even got all the little gadget and it's in controls, and even got the pedals in it or operated. So that's pretty. That's really neat. Um, and I also picked up this um, extra lease 53 footer uh, Atherin um, uh, semi trailer. Um, and, um, this is a really nice trailer. This right here, I paid 30 bucks for, I think like 30 something with some tax, but I also, I also picked this up the same day. I picked up the, um, uh, Gunderson 60 foot, uh, high cube box car from Hobbyland. Um, I could have bought the other high cube box car, but I just decided I wanted to get this. And if it, the other one's still up there, I'll go back up there and get it, but I'm not really pressed to get the other one. But, um, this is a really nice trailer. Athlon makes really, really nice trailers actually. Um, let's see if it's got all the details underneath. Um, it even has the um, wheel crank right here to lift the landing gear up and down. If you guys can see that right there. Let me zoom in a little bit. That's the wheel crank right there. That little gadget right there. That is the actual wheel crank to crank the um, fit uh, the uh, landing gear up and down, as you can see right up through there. Um, and it even has um, the little placker plates. It's got the turn signal boxes, which are right there. Um, even got the, um, the reflective tape going across. It got the wall bash. This is a wall bash trailer. Um, she's got the extra lease mud flaps. And this is an extra lease trailer. My dad's actually pulled these a couple times before. And, uh, the tandems actually slide back and forth, which is really, really neat. As you can see, they can slide them. And uh, what this actually does, if you guys do not know what this familiar, what this is, uh, when you slide the tandems, it actually, what it does, is it actually, uh, weighs out the trailer, um, for the actual truck um so what it basically does is when you're sliding the tandems um it basically helps you uh helps the weight of the truck be distributed evenly so basically if i was to slide the tandems in the middle of the trailer uh weight would kind of be distributed out easily um, if i was to slide the tandems all the way to the back um all the weight would be put onto the actual semi truck and if i was to slide the tandems all the way to the front um like that, all the weight would be put onto the actual trailer. Um, so you basically want to have the tandems in the middle um, for like a real life trucker um, to basically distribute out the weight evenly so that it can be um, uh, distributed amongst the truck uh, evenly so that one is not heavier than the other. And then you don't blow any tires or blow, you know, any steers or any drive tires or any trailer tires in particular. So you usually want to have those in the middle. That's what tandems are actually for. Um, so definitely a good feature that they in indicate. And they also put the... Um, the um uh the uh airline connectors which is the red is for the service and the blue is for the trailer um so and then they have then the middle one is for the lights uh right up right there that one right there then the, the silver one that is for the lights for all around the whole trailer so i definitely know a lot about this because my dad does it for a living like i told you guys so yeah uh definitely nice little pickups um i do like these i like the wiking in particular going to definitely get a, he a heavy forklift from them because i like their equipment a lot they got some really nice equipment so i'm definitely going to pick up some other stuff from them so um yeah so okay i'm uh, definitely now going to be on to the bigger updates of the layout um i know you guys are excited to see it because i haven't done a video in almost a month so definitely bigger changes so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the actual layout update of the uh layout layout portion of this video okay so we're going to actually start in the town um so as you can see the first update of the actual part of this 
Um, as, as you guys can see, this building is actually gone. Um, flat building right here that was right here has actually been relocated. Still on the layout, just actually put in a place that actually makes sense for actually actually so i don't have it put right up in this area anymore so right now this is just being used as is i haven't um i haven't decided what i'm going to uh put right here yet i'm going to definitely try to put a modern facility up in this area but uh, for right now it's just going to be empty and i'm going to just leave the tracks here for now i mean they're not hurting anything so uh yeah that's one update uh, this building has been relocated um moving on down the street here of main street um did finally get the police and fire station and actually ordered both of these off of eBay. My dad did. I sent him a video or sent him a picture of these two and uh, he actually picked them up. So this one right here is the police station. And it's even got the jail cells back up through here with the bars on them. And we've even got the fire station, which is up through here. Um, so now we got to do is get some police cars and uh, uh, ambulances, you know, fire truck and stuff like that. So uh, but yeah, those definitely two big updates. Definitely needed those for the town. Um, and now all we got to do is try to find something to put right here. And I was going to actually, um, was actually going to put this right here, but, um, it's not going to actually make sense to put this building right here. So right for, as of right now, uh, it's just not being, it's just not being used at the moment. Um, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to put right here. Maybe try to put like a store or something right here. I'm just having not decided yet. Um, and definitely going to end up putting something right here. I think we're going to put a, our bus station right here so that it would make sense for it to be right next to the train station. So definitely want to put a bus station right up here in this particular area. So yeah, that's, um, that's one, one of the updates of the layout. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move down, move down up through here. I'm going to come back here because I actually got something I want to show you guys a little bit later. Um, this is where the building has been relocated and it actually makes sense to put it back over here in this area anyways because it's a flat building you wouldn't want to see the back anyways so all i did was i took some wood and just added it in and it's not perfect but it's just it doesn't need to be perfect for this little area i just added on enough wood just to sit this building on and now the car now it sits perfectly back up through here now and uh, what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to actually get some dock doors and put them back up through this uh this wall and actually have tracks back or trucks semi trucks backed into the um actual doors because i asked the buddy of mine and i said oh uh, you know what can i do with this area because it's it's empty and he said well, yeah why don't you put some dock doors right here and make it look like it's connected to that building so that you can have semi trucks plugged up to it. And I said, oh, yeah, that does make sense. So uh, eventually when I find something, I will definitely hook that up to it, make it look like it's a part of the building. And then well, that's what we're going to do, fill in this whole area with the trucks and have them backed into the dock doors. And um, actually, um, another update that I did do was those. Um, if you guys remember in my Chilla Coffee haul uh, from that flea market, you guys remember I picked up a whole bunch of these um, skids, these wooden skids uh, by the uh, German company, as you can see right here. I finally did install those on the layout, and I actually come back to the town to show you guys where I actually installed those at. But I definitely put a lot of skids around through this part of the portion of the um, actual facility. And as you can see, here's the Viking crane or forklift right up through here. And as you can see, I installed some back up through here as well and just kind of scattered them around and then as you can see the forklift is right here waiting to load up a box car so yeah definitely did that um glued them up through there uh, like i said relocated this building uh coming on down through here um no new changes up through this area i'm still gonna i'm still gonna re actually redo this area um, I don't like how this is being, how this is was did. So I'm going to definitely redo this. Um, I'm going to actually tighten up the switches a little bit and then kind of close this off this yard because this is going to be another yard. But uh, we're going to definitely close, tighten this up because I want to make a make more yard tracks over here. And it just doesn't make sense the way it's set up. But uh, that's another part of the video. But no new changes up through here. Um, no new changes to the grain elevator yet. Um, still got to find, make a little piece to make it look like uh, there's two being connected between both silos which I'm going to do that here eventually. Um, so yeah, no new changes to this area. Um, did do some changes over here to the Delco facility um, and actually did install some skids. Um, some wooden, I'm sorry, wooden skids um, throughout this facility. As you can see, there's some right there. There's a couple stacked up through there. Then I got one set up up top up there. So I uh, definitely did do that over through in that area. Um, we'll come back here a little bit later. Um, I'll show you guys also where else I installed some of the skids at. Um, stuck a few back over through here. Um, as you see, I got, uh, I got two set up back here on the Clipper Mill plumbing supply. 
um did glue just two back here on the on the uh behind the dock doors um as you can see right up through there and then i also believe i installed a few back over here on this side i believe no i did not um also just put a little bought a little uh this actually came on a platform that i ordered off of ebay as well which i'll show you guys that here in a second but um I just seen this and I said, man, eh, well, I'll just put this right here, make it look like it's a parked car or something. So our first vehicle in the actual layout, is, except aside from the Cadillac at the car dealership, at the uh, semi car dealership. But uh, yeah, I did pick the guy, got that off of a platform. So I just ripped it off because it was glued on there. And then I just put it with this, uh, you know, behind this, um, this attorney's office or something. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that is uh, something else that we've done. Uh, another update that we have actually done to the layout was that uh, we actually upgraded the turn radius. Um, and so now we are running off of 26 inch radiuses now. I uh, had to bump it up from 22 to 26 because of the uh, auto racks. My dad, uh, you guys remember my dad uh, did pick up uh, like a lot of these, uh, like 28 of these auto racks. And so got a whole string of them going down through there and actually even has more, but we had to bump up the turn radius because, um, and it's easy, it's, it's better anyway, because it, you know, makes it, you know, makes it a lot smoother anyway. So it was actually a good thing that we upgraded the turn radius for this. So yeah, that was definitely something that we needed to do anyway. So not complaining. So we can actually run, you know, longer, tra you know, better trains and have a better turn radius. So, um, and the only thing that's still 22 is actually this right here, uh, the, the, uh, actual, siding but i mean we'll eventually upgrade that one of these days uh, i'm not we're not going to be in a rush to do that anytime soon so um yeah um another update um ordered got this little industry set up right up through here um and this what this is is an offloading for uh semi trailers um and as you can see i ordered this platform off of ebay i think i paid like ten like nine dollars for this um it's not painted i'm going to paint it a dark concrete color so that it looks like um you know, actual freshly poured concrete, um, which is definitely am going to do that. Um, so just a little Tyco platform. Tyco makes a whole bunch of these. So I just seen one and I just picked it up. Um, so basically how this works is um, the uh, flat cars would come up to, and that's actually why I bought the trailers um, to go on here. Basically, the flat cars would be pushed into the siding. A truck would basically back up to the flat car and actually would take a chain and pull this fifth wheel down. And then would actually back up to the flat car off of the platform and then hook up to the trailer and pull it off and pull it off of the ramp and take it to wherever it goes. So that's basically how this works. And this is actually a part of something else, that, which, is, which is the add-on to. So which I'll show you guys here in a second. But uh, this is this is a part of that. I mean, I basically kind of have it set up as a drop and hook. So basically what I have it set up as is if a truck pulls the trailer off of the... Um, off of the train, for instance, well, okay, maybe it's not, you know, heading directly to its facility or its destination on time. So how, how I have it set up is I have it set up to where it's going to be a drop and hook. So basically the truck will pull it off and then park it in the spot, which is over here, which as you see, I got this one replicated as, and then drops it. And then maybe comes back a little bit, you know, like maybe the next day and then, you know, um, you know, takes it to its destination. Like it doesn't immediately go to its destination the same day it gets pulled off the train. So kind of a drop and hook kind of thing. And I'm going to get a yard jockey for this particular area, which it'll handle this. Um, so this will kind of be eventually lined up with trailers. I'm not going to flood it with trailers. Maybe I'm putting like two or three more over here, but um, it kind of, kind of want to evenly distribute it between this and the other industry over there. So definitely going, that's definitely a nice little add on to this. And I really like this setup really nice. And I couldn't figure out uh, what I was going to do with this area, because you guys remember I had the facility sitting here, the engine house, but the way I wanted to use it, it wouldn't have worked. So I just decided uh, we're going to just use it for something else, which is actually good how it worked out. And so I just set this up right up through here and this actually works perfectly in this area. So definitely do like this. And this is all partic particularly used for this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have semi trucks kind of lined, bobtail semi trucks lined up in this little lane, kind of waiting for the train to come in so they can pull the, the trailers off and take them you know, to wherever they need to go, which basically would kind of be like on the kind of some of the uh, facilities on the layout, for instance, like uh, for instance, definitely would go over to the corner over there. Maybe one is heading over there, which you see we got one there now. Uh, maybe just coming through the town. As you see, I got one coming through the town. So, you know, basically stuff like that. Just kind of be creative with it, uh, basically. So uh, definitely. Yeah. Um, also, another update to the layout. Um, definitely going to be adding on a second level. Um, we're going to add on a, another level going all the way around, like a, like a 12 inch board. We want to give us 
uh, some more room to run trains. So we're going to actually put something up there just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, give us more running time, um, which we're going to do. Is we're going to bring a track up and then run it on top. So that's basically something that we're going to do next. Um, also, um, finally, uh, did manage to, um, get around and get some, um, get some loads out of a buddy of mine. And, uh, actually here's one of the loads of mine, which I've been meaning to show in a video for a minute. Um, and so I'm going to do some customizations to it myself to make it kind of how I want it to be. But um, here's one of them. Um, uh, NS Train Modeler 22 actually did this for me, uh, which is not too bad. Um, I, I like it. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe add some banding around it to make it look a little bit more like how I want it to be. But uh, NS Train Modeler 22 did this for me. Um, he, he did this one. He also did another one, which I'll go grab real quick for you guys and show it to you. Uh, also did this one for me. And this is basically just to represent a steel beam. Um, NS train model 22 or Triston also did this for me and all I like same thing I'm just going to add some banding around it make it look like uh, you know banding is around it but uh, you see the wood pieces are kind of sp uh, spreading it out a little bit um, and then I just going to um, like I said just add some banding um, and then here's the other one it's supposed to be steel beams uh, in gray so yeah those are nice I definitely appreciate it man uh, NS train model 22 definitely go check him out does some good content but uh, yeah definitely did those for me um, so yeah, definitely, I'm going to be going to the industry as well that I've been keep telling you guys about. I know you guys are dying to see it, um, but, uh, we're finally going to, um, that's what, that's one, one second before we go back over there and I actually take this back over there with me now. Um, and I'll just go ahead and show you guys the big industry I keep talking about. Um, so this basically is the industry. Um, if you guys remember, I bought the actual crane, and the crane actually was in bad shape. Crane was actually not any good. Um, it actually didn't even work. So a friend, of my buddy of mine, fixed it for me. Actually wired up everything. I'm um, actually um, just kind of soldered everything together, make it one solid connection, taped it up really nicely and finely. But you guys remember I said I was gonna put this actually over there in that corner, but it was, I actually decided to add on a piece of wood and actually expand it out. And now this all sits in this one little area. And it's going to be like a private crane lifting setup is what I got. So that the, you know, the truck actually um, brings like a container here, brings um, a, like a flatbed load, goes into the gondola, which you see I got to set up right here. Um, and it basically just kind of, um, you know, kind of just lifts and then puts whatever it needs to do. And this is kind of like a private company. This isn't really for intermodal traffic. Um, it does, we do do intermodal traffic on this, but we're going to do, we do a little bit of everything. It's a multi-purpose crane, not just used for intermodal. Um, so that's what I've got the steel beams here and it actually will pick up these actually. Um, so yeah, um, it actually does run and it's running off of a, um, I just put a cup right here. This is so ghetto what I did, <laughs> but I just did it for right now for the time being. I'm going to build a box for it it's running off of a Tyco power pack, um, which I just kind of put this in this cup right here just to kind of get it out of my way because it was kind of in the way of where it was because I originally taped it back up through here, but it kept falling because of the, it was so heavy. So I just decided to just take a cup and move it out of the way for the time being. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a box to build it in and sit it actually slapped right in so uh definitely something that i'm going to do um eventually but um and also um guys guys i told you um this is the industry uh this was going to be the engine house but now i decided to move it over here and use it as a storage housing for the actual um all the different equipment and stuff uh for the train so this is what this is going to be and it even has an office building attached to it which is actually great for this particular purpose. So I'm actually glad I was able to uh, use this. It all worked out. And as you can see right now, I've got one of the chassis sitting in there. I've got a like a little crane piece, got some piping, and I've got the chassis. And then of course I got the uh, extra lease trailer just kind of sitting in there halfway. Um, and then I've got um, kind of some trailers parked along the side. This is gonna be for parking and then back up through here. I'm gonna get a big crane, park it up through here um, and stuff like that. And um, this is actually one of the platforms that I ordered off of eBay. And this one is actually set up to, um, this one's actually connected to this. It's not connected to it, but it's just kind of looks like it is. But as you can see, the truck would back up onto the ramp and then back it onto the actual crane. And then the crane would take over from this. And this is actually what that pickup truck came off of. And so I just ripped it off and then I just put it over there on that uh, other side of the layout. So, and as I was telling you earlier, um, 
that portion over there with the other platform that's basically what that with this these two are kind of basically together um basically everything would get loaded up over here basically taken into town and then pulled off of the train from a truck in town so um that's basically how this is set up and uh, i've got to get some switches i don't have any switches yet but i'm going to get some switches to hook this up and this is going to be operational it's going to be one of my favorite industries i believe because it's got a working actual functioning crane and i'm actually going to uh, show you guys it running here in a second um let me just hook it up really quickly here and i'll let you guys actually see it run it's hooked up um so uh let me set you guys up real quick and then i'll show you guys how it actually operates and functions You kind of have to manipulate the box to get on there into the extra crane, but you guys kind of get the idea. I actually can load it onto a flat car or anything if I had one set up. But it's a really, it's a really nice, it's a really neat little crane. I really like it. Definitely going to have fun with this uh, an operating session. You see it actually goes up and down and stuff like that, so. Also, finally, did get back my ES44 DC uh, NS um, from the shop. It was in the shop for a really long time. Finally got it back. It's up and running. They had it for like six, seven months, and I finally just got it back, and it's running superbly. Um, glad I actually finally got that back. So, uh, yeah, definitely I'm going to be doing a layout update, which will be my next video here. Uh, roughly after this one probably within the next week or so maybe in the next couple of days so um yeah but uh i know big long video i'm sorry i apologize how long it is it's actually over in half an hour um i do apologize for this in inconvenient but um just wanted to get a big update out to you guys and the giveaway is still going on i'm actually decided what i'm going to give away um i think i've decided that i'm going to give away one of my um actual gondolas to you guys um, I'm going to be giving away the uh, Burlington gondola. Um, it's been upgraded. I uh, put metal wheels and KV couplers on it. Um, and going to put one of the uh, steel or one of the loads into it. And then I, I'm going to give away a. Um, I haven't decided the other thing yet, but I know that one of those things are going to go. I'm going to build a load up for that so that can go uh, with you guys. So. Um, I will be drawing the names within the next week um, of everybody that uh, that entered, um, and then we will actually be going from there. So uh, yeah, guys, just wanted to give you guys this 